a mother and a mailbox are both growing old standing on the corner of a little country road they just and they're awaiting as the postman passes by throwing dust upon the mailbox brings a tear to mama's eye sometimes If she doesn't write a note And slip it in the mailbox Just for a little joke But when she reads it over again She knows that it's not right To have so children and not a one of them will write she wipes the dust from the mailbox drives a tear from her eye she walks back to her cabin where she tries to realize If your mom's still living, why don't you drop her a line? It don't take much effort. It sure don't take much time. For boys, I wish I would have written. Or at least call mine on the phone. No, I was just like you. I waited a little too long. My mother's gone. A mother and her mailbox are both growing old. Just standing on the corner of some little country road. They just stand there. You write that song too? I wrote that one for my mother about 1960. That's and got to do it one time for her on stage before we lost her. Hmm. And I've never been proud well, of her. That's a pretty song. That was the best ever thing I ever, best thing I think I ever got to do for my mother. Was she was tickled to death because I got to do it for her. And well, that's pretty. Did you, it was a long did you time get ago. it on a record, on a no, tape or anything? Never. Oh, it's. You got to, yeah, put on tape. It's and copyrighted and all that, but no, I never did. Never hmm. recorded. Hmm. Maybe you ought to do that sometime. Well. <laughs> you know what that racket is. Yeah, like. yeah, I am. I do. Really, I do. Uh, we, uh, we've had several people on the train this week, and uh, uh, two or three of them have been to Nashville, and... Uh, did recordings, did all kind of stuff. One guy had, he got a, he got every name brand singer that he could get to, to get on his outfit, to to uh, record songs and, uh, he said it still didn't do him the good. He said it's a hard, hard trip going to Nashville, Tennessee. Yes. And uh, 
Martha and I went over there and uh, we did that first album. And I think to their amazement and to ours, two of them got on the charts. Well, you got got a little talent. You know that too. Well, don't I don't. Buddy? That makes she, a big I, she, I, I just, I'm a better backup singer than I'm. Folks want me to sing solo or down yonder or out yonder or somewhere. <laughs> yeah. I think you both do a, a fantastic job. I've heard you more than just here. I've heard you over at Hardy. I've heard you all over the. <laughs> well, I, I contend that show business is about 95 percent guts, and. Uh, <laughs> so I, I got plenty of that. <laughs> I, I, I just have no end to, to the mess. <laughs> After all, I got a BS in college. Absolutely. But I ain't used up to the third grade yet. <laughs> now you told me one time in one of our conversations that you was in a place and they had all these look-alike singers. Yeah. Tell me about that. Calumet City, Indiana, recording studio. Went there to do a show like this. Walked in that place and there was people sitting there work. I said, my God, I know all these people. I had never been to Calumet City before in my life. Looked over at Kenny Rogers. Here's Dolly Parton. Um, Frank Sinatra. Um, Henry Fonda. He's the one that blows my man. I mean, and I went to the lady that I was under a contract with at that time. I was recording on Good Luck Records up there with a lady by the name of Jean Weiss. And she had her uh, an hour-long variety show there. And I said, my God, Jean, I know all these people. She said, no, you just think you do. She said, they're not who you think they are. I said, Tell that. that's Henry Fonda over there. She said, no, that's his, the world champion lookalikes. I mean, they have come from... England, Germany, France, everywhere, and entered these contests for lookalikes, and these were the winners of all of them. And I'm here to tell you, it was spooky. Uh, they say everybody got a twin, and I believe it now, unless it's me. Well, I, I don't know if any, <laughs> they couldn't be anybody else out there look like me. But anyway, it was it was really interesting. Yeah, and very talented people too. Uh, Kenny Rogers, the one that, I don't remember these people's name. I'm cutting you off here, Gene. You be quiet. <laughs> I got the mic now, buddy. You look like Grandpa Jones. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this Kenny Rogers and Dolly Parton, and they did real singing too. They were no lip syncing or nothing like that. And the Henry Fonda lookalike had done about two-thirds of the movie on, um, he had filled in for Henry Fonda something about the pond on Golden Pond. He had done about two-thirds of the acting, so 90% of what you see. Because Henry was sick. Henry was sick and couldn't make he sure it. sure was. And he had his fill in, and this was the guy. It was mm. It was really interesting. It really was. I liked it. And we got to do a, three songs there on that show that time, and then later on we did one I guess then folks was, was uh, tickled that you recognized them all. You huh? bet. <laughs> Especially Dolly Parton. <laughs> yeah. I walked up to her, but I'm telling her about this long time. But <laughs> well, she said, I'm not Dolly. I just look like her. Uh, you do a good job. <laughs> Whatever, you... <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it was she's doing, she was doing she it right. right, right. You bet. <laughs> Take it easy, baby. I'll be good. <laughs> we got Lynn, Lynn getting over the squirming you over there. You get one? off this Dolly Parton kick, boy. Okay. And, uh, I, I think I'd be safe. Do, do a, what is she going to do? I don't you know. didn't know, did she you? She mentioned Crazy Arms while ago or something, y'all. You got to work. You want to do? Would she sing that with me, I reckon? Or wonder? No? Yeah. Well, let's just do it. I'll sing with you. All right. You'll be glad I did. Well, blue ain't the word for the way that I feel. A storm is proven in this heart of my trouble might no soon to another you'll be with And that's why I'm lonely all the time Crazy arms that reach to hold somebody new While my yearning heart keeps saying you're not mine 
trouble my no soon to another you'll be with and that's why I'm lonely all the time I'll take all these treasure things I've had for you and me and take all the love I thought was mine Cause someday my friends, the arms may hold somebody new And that's why I'm lonely all the time Crazy arms that reach to hold somebody new My yearning heart keeps saying you're not mine my trouble, my no soon to another you'll be with, and that's why I'm lonely all the time. Yes, that's why I'm lonely all the time. Thank y'all. Y'all stay there. We'll be right back.